so i was recording this video and this video was already on five minutes and then nepa decided to take the light and i was talking to myself in darkness see ya it's all good i'm okay i'm not worried at all hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is glory elijah and this is francis speaking with glory and not, let me also remind you that i am in nigeria this is nigeria this is nigeria where you'll be doing a recording and nepa will just take the light and leave you with your camera on anyways i am glad i have substitute lights so guys as far as you can see my face and hear my voice i am super excited to be talking to you guys tonight all right guys i'm going to be giving some special and honorable mentions to some of you um subscribers and viewers who have been really really supportive on my channel to my channel to my work um so please guys watch till the end of this video i just might call out your name and i'll be giving out reasons why i'm giving you guys this special shout out all right guys so today on the big brother niger show has been really really boring yeah really boring biggie did not give the housemates any task and um They've just been, you know, lounging, having conversations and whatnot. Nothing major happened in the house, but some things happened. Diane tried to put a stunt on the rest of the housemates. So what she did was she took into hiding the ultimate veto power game of chance red box. You know, it was supposed to be in the care of EK, I think. And then she took it and went and hid it inside Ello's room in the HOH room actually so guys um when EK started looking for the box was when Biggie told after Biggie told the housemates to freeze so the housemates while they, they were still in their freezing position the Oppo monster or the Oppo doll if whatever you want to call it you know he came into the house and he was dancing he was doing so many funny and crazy things and uh he was really really fun and interesting to watch you know the Oppo doll or the Oppo monster do its thing while the housemates were watching and they were laughing like El El Zunam, i don't understand is it El is it that elozunam does not understand that if biggie tells you to freeze and you're talking and laughing you're going to get a punishment or something because he kept on talking and he kept on laughing he kept on making commentaries and i was wondering like uh, uh, is biggie not seeing this guy doing all of these things anyways let's watch out and see if biggie is going to call him out for a punishment anyways guys um so at the end of the day um after the housemates ek everybody had been searching and searching for the box finally elizon i'm told diane look just carry this and i'm gonna return it because this thing is getting serious the search is getting really really serious and then she returns the box it was quite hilarious anyways and it sort of brought a bit some sort of fun into the house even though it was quite boring but guys another interesting gist that i have for you guys tonight is ebuka's interview um ebuka is a fashionable presenter of the big brother niger nomination show eviction show all of the show 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 that happens live so um Ebuka gave us some tips on what to expect towards the final weeks of the Big Brother Niger show this season. And he said that it's going to be mind-blowing. Some of the tips he gave to us is we should expect mind-blowing events to happen. He said that, for instance, three people might be up for eviction and all three of them might be evicted at once. Yes. That this one is not going to be like before where five people will be nominated for eviction and then one person is going to be saved, four people will sit down. No. According to him, a number of people might be up for eviction and then all of them might be evicted at once. He also said that another scenario might be a number of people will be up for eviction and then none of them will be evicted at all. But for from coming from Ebuka live and direct, a lot of mind blowing events are going to happen. We will not see it coming. I'm telling you. And guys, I am already calculating already. My brain has been doing a lot of math work, you know, because I'm wondering like by now there's supposed to be like eight housemates in the house. Yeah. So how come we still have like 10 housemates in the house? So probably I am thinking that by next week since there's no eviction this week oh by next week here yeah, five people might be going on so that there'll be five people remaining for the last week of big brother niger show the last week of the show is going to be in two weeks time and then um, that's um possibly the first week of october i think so 
I don't know, correct me if I am wrong. Anyways, Ibuka also shared some of his most shocking moments on the show. And the first one he mentioned was the first eviction that happened. He felt like, wow, that at that point, he really, really understood that Biggie is not human. Biggie does not have a heart. Because of the way that Avala and Isilomo was were actually evicted from the show. You know, that pebble, that pebble, pebble game that they played you know just to save themselves kathy and gedoni were actually very very lucky on that day but he felt really really sad that avala and isiloma were not really given a chance to show um and prove what they have or even showcase their talent and whatnot so for him that was one of his most shocking moments on the show another really shocking moment for him was when cindy <laughs> carried spoon and would lick the spoon and put it back into the pot for him that was very shocking for him and he still couldn't wrap his he still can't wrap his head around why cindy did that and you know for him he felt like those are just things that you don't just do at all whether in public or in the confines of your house like how does cindy even feel comfortable even doing that for, so for ebuka he felt ill you know he felt really irritated when he saw her doing all of those things and then um a third most shocking moment for him was when esther kissed fraud on the stage of the darling nigeria find your beautiful runway task yeah so remember that particular day guy before esther was evicted from the show um when she and fraud were walking on the runway she turned around and kissed fraud not speckle this one french kiss on the mouth inside the mouth you know tongue to tongue and then um he was like ah. but this is the same girl that when the show started in the earliest weeks fraud was making moves at her making advances at her and then she kept on rejecting fraud over and over again and then she went and turn their affections to Nelson. And they were even sharing the same bed. You know, giving each other massages. Doing things that couples do. And then when Nelson was evicted from the house. She cried and cried and mourned him for days. And then after recovering. She went back to the same fraud that she had rejected before. And then after going back to fraud. You know, Ebuka was like. He still didn't understand. Like how would she do such a thing? Was it really a game or a strategy? So for him, that was one of his most shocking moments. The day. Esther turned around and kissed Ford on the stage. And then another most shocking moment for Ebuka was um, the day after the Saturday Night Live party when Mercy was in the garden. And then what did she do? She was wearing a Victoria's Secret tongue pants and then she opened a trouser and exposed a bum bum live and direct on national TV. According to Ebuka, that was very shocking because it felt like, oh my God. This girl actually did this, you know, and he also talked about his low points on the show. One of his low points was when he asked certain housemates some questions and a lot of people were trolling him on social media, trolling him. He got messages, death threats. His wife got a lot of death threats and messages. People even insulted his children. According to him, he has a two-year-old child and he also had as a baby. So for him, he felt like, ah, but this is just a show. This is an entertainment show. Why would people take it so personal? Why would people be all up in their feelings like that? And guys, on this one, Ebuka said, though, yeah, me too. I don't understand. I know how many insults I have received on this, my channel, just because of Big Brother Niger. I mean, on a normal day, on a normal day, guys. Why? Why? I keep saying that this is a show. If you want to talk, if you want to comment, comment your thoughts politely, politely, and drop it. But some people know, they will not hear that one. No. They will come to this channel. They will insult me or insult me or insult me or they will insult me with what they don't even know me for. Like, they don't even know me for madam, but they'll just insult me, you know. So Ebuka complains that that was the same thing that he went through. And he felt like, wow, people have really gotten all up in their feelings because of this show. And then, what else did he say? Yeah, he also shared with us his favorite quotes from the show. And he said that his favorite quote from the show is the one that I said, Fuck that ice cream, my nigga. Fuck that ice cream, my nigga. You know, it was so funny. And according to him, that quote is already being printed on polo t-shirts and is being sold. So he probably will get a copy or, yeah, maybe a copy of that t-shirt. So, guys, basically, that was the interview with Ebuka. He said a lot of things. He also talked about his fashion designer, what he's going to wear 
um, on the last day of the show. Um, he said Maya Tafo is also designing his outfit, but he's not going to tell us what he is going to be wearing. Um, so I just picked out the basic and major things that he said to share with you guys. So basically, that was all that Ebuka said. And um, so guys, without much further ado, I want to give some honorable mentions to some of you guys on my channel who are consistent in commenting on my videos who are very very polite and intellectual when commenting on my on my videos now these traits i really really appreciate them because i've always said to you guys that please whenever you want to comment comment without insulting yeah it goes a long way it goes a long way to encourage me to continue doing what i am doing i am human i am not robotic and in as much as i have this attitude to life of i don't care i don't give a fuck what people say about me you know sometimes i feel like wow okay okay it has gotten up to here you know i actually had a viewer that after watching my video a mercy's fan actually the person commented and called me a fool i'm stupid another person said that I'm going to bury myself. You know, some people even go as far as telling me I'm going to die. Like, seriously, I'm not going to die. I'm still here. And I'm going to be here for a long time. You know, so um, these people I'm going to mention, these are just a few of the bunch. Yeah, these are not the only people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mention just 10. And then in tomorrow morning's video, I'm going to mention more names i'm just going to be mentioning names like that and like that and like that so um the first person's name i'm going to be mentioning is um adelia temitokwe adelia temitokwe thank you so much i do not know if you're male or female most of you i don't even know your gender but adelia temitokwe thank you so much i really really appreciate when you give you know responses and comments without insulting me or even trolling me in the comment section h i r b e r t e s q i don't know the full meaning of that but then i presume you are female you are always always very mature with your comments thank you so much i really appreciate your contribution to my channel um messy bon grades from day one that i started posting my videos messy bon grades you are simply amazing thank you so much i do not take your consistency and your loyalty for granted i really really appreciate you thank you so much um who else tracy care i hope i got that right tracy mwah, much love to you thank you so much tracy um esther nasuna esther nasuna Thank you so much, Esther. You are the real MVP. Catherine Shawa. Thank you so much, Catherine. Thank you so much for always commenting on my videos and supporting my channel. Um, who else? Adeke Stella. Adeke Stella, my gosh. Adeke Stella, you are simply amazing. Thank you so much. I totally appreciate you and all the students of Ma Kerere University, Uganda. Yo, Uganda! You guys rock. And um, Nunga Cinderella. Nunga Cinderella. Thank you so much. Babes, you are simply amazing. Every time I see your comments in the comment section below, I just keep on smiling. Thank you so much for always coming through. Even though once in a while we have our clashes, but then that's why we are different human beings. Thank you guys so much. Um, who else? There's, um, uh, what's this person's name? Alabi Jerry. Alabi Jerry. Thank you so much. Imelda Njisa, Tremofat, Samuel Amarachi. Tosi! Tosi Adejiron. Tosi, you are simply amazing. You are always like first to view, first to comment, first to like. You and Imelda, both of you keep on dragging that possession and uh, position rather. But I just want to say that both of you are simply amazing i love you guys so much i love you guys so much there's um lucky ebina lucky ah my god may you always be lucky in life thank you so much lucky i really appreciate you there's um what's her name oh bunchy cruzo bunchy cruzo yo 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 <laughs> thank you so much bunchy thank you so much bunchy thelma adobe thelma 
you are simply amazing with your comments i love the way we laugh together in the comment section below thank you so much for always supporting my channel caroline kumfa i don't know where you're from babes but thank you so much for supporting frankly speaking with glory miracle Ekwe miracle thank you so much for always always commenting on my channel there's so many names on my list as you can see okay you guys cannot see it but there's so many names on that list i'm going to continue with the names tomorrow but for those of you that i mentioned god bless you thank you guys so much for watching this video tonight um don't forget to comment your thoughts in the comment section below have a good night's rest bye